Hey guys, my name is Koi, aka SoCal Collector. I'm over here in Savannah. This is a mall. I heard there's a Think Geek and two GameStop and a Barnes and Noble. I don't know if I'm going to film every single thing, uh, every single store that I'm going to go in there. But um, if it's good, you guys are going to see some footage. If it's not, then uh, it'll probably be in and out uh, real fast. So uh, let's go ahead and check that out uh, this mall real fast. Take a look at this guys, we are at GameStop and apparently they have a promo of 25% off if you buy this bag right here, you can fit all your collectible in there, you get 25% off total, so yeah, we're gonna hope, uh, hopefully I can find some good uh, come up in here guys, 25% off, why not, let's go. And we are here at GameStop, look what I got, first off the bat, look at this, Chase. Hmm. Off the bat, guys. <laughs> this is a very good comeback. Hmm. Oh, they do have Kira here too, and the Mega Man. But this is what I'm here for. That Master Chief. That's pretty dope. Number twelve. I already have her already. Hmm. I think I'll pass on him, but yeah, this is definitely a must. And it's fifteen dollar, so yeah. Mm. And they got this uh, Spider-Man Spider Verse as well, twelve dollars. Mm. It's pretty dope. Well, look at this. They do have the Power Ranger, the yellow and pink zeal ranger these two are gamestop exclusive guys look at this 1999. I got that sticker to 25 years um, of Power Ranger. That's that's pretty neat. I'm definitely picking these two up because these are the two last pieces I need to build this guy, the Zeo Megazord. Ah, and then they got this thing too. The Dragon Star. All right. Yeah, they got they got the blue Vegeta. No, the blue Vegito actually, and. They don't have Jiren though, but, oh, they're all $19.99? Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely picking up these four. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Love to restock. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> That's the new uh, Batman Val, Val Kilmer and the Flash TV series. The original Flash TV series, $27 at GameStop. And I picked this up. Batman looks alright, but the Flash, yeah. Check out the paint app. Yeah, definitely picked this bad boy up. Check these out, guys. The Dark Vader 40th anniversary. It's only $14. And it's a 50% off, so it's only like $7. These are like $20, so it's like $10. So that's a big steal. Yeah. Alright, so across from that mall is a Ross here. I had some good come up last week, so uh, let's check out this Ross real fast, see if uh, we can find anything good. Alright, let's go ahead and see what it's worth to pick up today. Over here, still. A couple of piles of stuff. They still have this guy here for eight dollars. Um, hmm. Well, they do have this Black Panther vehicle thing right here. The price has dropped to sixteen now. Hmm. Last week they had this for twenty-three, I think. But I didn't want to pick him up for twenty-three. So 
I might pick him up now. $16 is not bad. I want I actually want to use him. Yeah, see they transformed to a little Black Panther right here. So I want to use him for my six inch figure. See how well it look. For $16, not bad. Ooh, another one. I got the black one last time. Hmm. Still have this guy. All right, let's see what else they got. Well, they also have this guys. The Justice League Batmobile. Oh, for $13. That's pretty dope. Since how this is $30 and I passed up on it, I might pick this up actually. This is pretty, pretty dope. This scale pretty good for your six inch figure. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pick this bad boy up as well. Oh, no way. They got this Autobot Hot Rod. $9 Ross as well. I saved you! This is one I needed. I've never seen this at the Walmart. Yeah, I've never seen this at Walmart, but it's finally here at Ross as well. And they still have this ATAT -AT, um, for $15. Hmm. I thought they would be sold out. I know they were here last week as well, but they still have them. And they have this Ninja Turtle for $7. Huh. Yeah. And they have the red one also, so. Well, I guess no one really want him anymore. Hey guys, I'm currently in Walmart right now. I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks. That's because I've been busy on vacation with my family. But now that I'm back, there's a lot of new figs that's out. Let's go ahead and uh, see what, the, what new figs is out there, guys. From the Transformer section, we have some new Power of the Prime Deluxe Series class here. We got Cutthroat, Cinetwin, Another Cine Twin? Yeah. Oh, and here, Blot. I actually have the G1 version of him a long time ago when I was a little kid. It wasn't much, <laughs> but um, yeah. Definitely would take one of these guys. So now I can finally build Abominus. Yep. Probability of Computron defeat, 0%. Computron think too much. Definitely taking these these three. Alright. So Abominus is now complete. Ha! <laughs> Great day guys. Great day. Whole new display set for the uh, Ant-Man and Wasp movie coming out. And they have the uh, Thanos wave. Yeah, the Infinity War, the first wave. Huh. Oh, and the rumor is true, guys. They do have the whole X Men wave. Energy blast, huh? Here's one from a pro. Warlock wave. Look at that. Oh, Iron Spider. A Colossus. A Colossus. Yeah, pretty much the whole wave is here, guys. Hmm. Go ahead and, uh, yeah. Check your Walmart because they just restock on the, the Warlock wave, so if you're missing out on uh, Cyclops and uh, Colossus, perfect time to pick them up. And take a look at this. So they have a whole. Look at this, the Hot Wheel 50th. But they have the Yellow Submarine. They have a bunch of them. Wow, this, the Halo. Oh, Back to the Future time machine. Yeah. They also have a Gas Monkey. I will definitely have to take the Beetle Submarine and the Back to the Future time machine. 
It's just so, man. <laughs> That's just dope looking. I'm not really a big Hot Wheel. I'm not really big on Hot Wheel guys, but um, something just cool to see, you know. Yeah, definitely picking these two up. Check this out, guys. All the uh, Jurassic Worlds. They are rollback, a couple of dollars actually. Look at this, this one which is around $7.86 are now like $7. So it's a little percentage off, but I they still got a lot in stock actually. Like this one, almost $40, now $33. Still some, you know, that's still pretty good. Uh, I'm actually looking for the play set. That's what I'm really interested in, so yeah. My Walmart is still stacked with a lot of Jurassic World stuff. I gotta pick up a couple of these legacy packs actually. Hmm. Huh. They also st just stuck with this as these as well. I really wanted the uh, Batman animated uh, Batmobile, but I haven't seen it in a while here, so. Kylo Ren over there. Still stack up with some of these uh, vintage carded. Oh. There's the helmet. They got some Ranger action here. Look at that. Red, two red, a blue, and the black dino. Hmm. Yeah. Look like they just came in stock. And down at the Legends, actually, this guy right here is like almost three dollars off. I'll wait on him though. We got a couple of Ghost Rider and Black Will. Oh, a couple of Ghost Rider actually. Forty dollars. Cable, but the box is all damaged. Thank you. Uh, yeah, they stock up with the uh, Deadpool wave. Oh. And look at this. There is a uh, hmm. There's a display here of. Uh, Black series and these uh, Star Wars little kid lightsaber stuff. Huh. No forlom, none, none of the new stuff. Still the old wave. Three Tarkin right here. Huh. I guess he's a peg warmer now. Mm -hmm. But let's go ahead and check out some of these uh, clearance. Yes, guys. The Infinity Gauntlet is now 11.18. Now these are not the uh, the collector edition one, these are for the kids one, but I've been waiting for this to go down in price because I didn't really want to pay $20 for it. I really want to get one of these just so I can do a custom, so I can repaint this up, so I definitely don't have to pick up one of these for $11.18. That's like half the price, so it's not bad. Um, plus, the, um, the electronics still works on it, so that's pretty dope. These guys still here. Uh, oh wow. So Megatron, Titan Return, Voyager class, and went back down to 1398. And broadside. Huh. It used to be five dollars or eight dollars. And then it went back up again. Now it went back down again. So I guess they're trying to get rid of some of these guys. Hmm. I don't know. Should I pick should I pick him up? Hmm. I don't know. Just the fact that I did bought him for $5 before, or $8, it, I, I don't remember. But I definitely will pick up one of these though. Oh yes. See what else. More clearing stuff. Look at this. The Fast and Furious Junkyard playset. Huh, $5. This, uh, I wonder how well, once you open it up, I want to see how well this will scale with my 3 and 3 quarters. So I might pick that up for $5. It's not that big a deal. Pretty good. Oh, the Kong Skull Island helicopter. Well, four dollars. I'll, I'll I'll pay four dollars just for the helicopter alone. <laughs> what else? They got some WWE Elite here for nine dollars. Hmm. 
all the old stuff, but ooh, 250. Yeah, I'll pick this up for, for a playset as well. Accessory. We are at the game section in uh, my Walmart here, and uh, I didn't know they have some uh, McLaren figure, Destiny uh, figure here too. Some uh, some game here. Hmm. Did not know that. Did not know. Ooh. And it has some NES for fifty nine eighty eight. So yeah, I guess they're restocking these. So. I would pick it up it's just that I still have the old, I still have the Super Mini NES and I still haven't played it so probably not picking this up. Wow, looks like we got some good come up over here at Walmart. But uh, let me go ahead and go sh get back to my apartment and show you all my pickup today. And I want to show you what I also pick up at Hasbro uh, website as well. I'm excited to do some unboxing so let's get out of here guys. Alright guys, so here we are at my apartment and here is my haul, my pickup for today. Let's start it off real fast. You saw I pick in GameStop that I uh, pick up the uh, chase here, the Jurassic Park um, chase and the Halo E3 uh, Master Chief here. Those are pretty cool. Pick up with this at Ross, um, the Autobot Hot Rod here for $9. Now, this is the Walmart exclusive this is the deluxe size I've never even seen this in uh, my Walmart or I have seen this in Walmart and I've shop a lot of Walmart around so yeah I don't know why the distribution company never sent it to Walmart but was able to get get this at Ross so that's a plus and the majority of stay of these like Kong Skull Island and this Fast and Furious you know you know I, I got these for like five dollars and two dollars and stuff like that but I'm mainly getting these for the accessory, you know, for my uh, dial, for my three and three quarter playset, like this high helicopter. This look very very cool next to like a Sentinel, you know. So, yeah, and this I'm getting for my custom, um, a custom uh, gauntlet. That I'm I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a custom uh, paint job on it. So I was able to get these two Hot Wheel. I'm not a real big Hot Wheel person, but. I can't really pass up on the uh, Back to the Future and the Yellow Submarine. Just looks so cool. This one, the Batmobile here, the Justice League Batmobile at Ross as well. I picked up these two at GameStop today. Now I uh, was able to order him uh, Jiren online on Amazon and um, he came in as well for retail. So now this set is complete and I am all caught up up to date with the uh, Dragon Star figure so can't wait for the um, the next wave to come out the flash now though mainly the reason why I get the him is because you know he's so iconic um, you know this TV show I know it's not much to watch now it's kind of like weird to watch now but when I was little this is all I have you know this is all I had to, to watch uh, growing up um, watching it now it's kind of cheesy you know it's kind of the you know but you know you gotta think this is back back in the old days this is the only TV show you have as far as superhero as far as you know fantasy kind of type of stuff going on so um, yeah I really like watching the show you know so the flash here is definitely a must pick up the pink and yellow Zeo Ranger mind you just a reminder these two is a GameStop exclusive and uh, with the 25% off um, yeah this is definitely a good time to uh, shop at GameStop guys so all these except for Jiren is at GameStop so now I picked up this bad boy here three of the uh, Terracon and now Abominus is complete look at that very very cool looking uh, combiner all right guys this is my haul for this week let me know what you guys think of this uh, these figure have you guys um, anybody utilized the 25 percent at GameStop you know um, as well anybody found some cool transformer at their um, at their Walmart any chase going on let me know all right um, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm glad you guys still support me. Uh, so I'm, I'm here now. I'm back from vacation and I'm hoping to do more uh, hunt video for you guys. But 
Let's go ahead and show you guys what I did pick up from Hasbro. And here it is guys. That's right. I was able to order the whole X-Men Apocalypse Wave 2018 from HasbroToyShop.com. Originally when they put it out online, you were able to use a promotional code uh, to get 20% off of all the figures. If you were able and lucky to order it the first time, you were able to get 20% off discount for all this. So basically I got all these figures for $16 each. And then um, they went back uh, on stock again and then for some odd reason they decided um, they, uh, they wouldn't honor uh, the discount uh, anymore. So if you were like me and uh, you were able to order this online, you were able to uh, the first time go around, you were able to get this for 20% off the first time. So this is, this is the whole wave. There is no figure in this whole wave that were uh, mediocre. All these figures are essentially very very dope. Now let's go ahead and uh, open uh, these uh, figure up guys. X-Men Apocalypse Wave 2018 out of the box. And let's go ahead and introduce here. First we have is Multiple Man. And he came with two other head scope right here. Very fun figure right here. Uh, hopefully uh, I can get a couple more of him so I can uh, you know uh, build multiple of him. You know that is his power. And secondly, we have Magneto here, an alternate custom of his. He does come with a um, an alternate head and some lightning effect and two other fisted hands. And back here we have Sabretooth. And here we have the Tiger Stripe Wolverine, probably the set favorite. My only gripe with him is his head scope, but um, I was able to... Um, Put him in uh, hot water, not even hot water, more like warm water, and then I was uh, able to stress it out. So now they stayed like that. So definitely the issue was fixed, and uh, yeah, he's definitely probably my favorite from the set, to be honest with you. I mean, look at that, that Tiger Stripe Wolverine. I mean, wow. Gladiator. Now, if you don't have the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, this would probably be a very cool figure. But since I do have a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, um, I kind of like the other one more. But still, you know, he is very uh, hard to get. So, um, I mean, he was hard to get. So, if you never have a, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, this is a uh, must. Storm. I would rather prefer the, the white custom one, but um, this is still good. Psylocke, oh yes. I mean, I don't like the Toy Biz version, so this Psylocke is very, very cool. Come with all these other accessories as well for Storm and Psylocke. Definitely happy to add her to my uh, X Men team. And then finally, the Builder figure Apocalypse himself. Wow, look at the head scope. Look at the metallic blue on his armor. This is, wow, the Lizard used to be my favorite uh, builder figure this year, but Apocalypse, right now for me, Apocalypse is probably uh, my favorite builder figure for this year. So, um, I used to like the Lizard because of the detail and stuff like that, but wow, this, this is a must. So let's go ahead and do some uh, size comparison uh, with some of these figure and some of the old version. Well, here's Psylocke. I really don't have the uh, old Toy Biz Psylocke. Um, I never really wanted it because um, the sculpture was pretty bad. So, and I don't have the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive of uh, Psylocke. So um, yeah, I can't really do a uh, comparison for you guys, but. 
Here is Captain Britain, her brother. So this is how they both look. But I do want to show you guys how Jean Grey look with the uh, Psylocke little um, uh, psionic uh, effect right here. Now maybe with different color, it doesn't look that bad actually. And here is Multiple Man and uh, he is with uh, some of the other member of X Factor. However, you know, diff different uh, costume here. But uh, here we have uh, Havoc and uh, Polaris. Multiple Man and Forge. We definitely need an updated version of Forge. But at least Forge and um, Multiple Man is in the same custom here. But yeah, we definitely need, need another version of Polaris and Havoc here. But yeah, here's Multiple Man with the rest of the X Factor team so far. We definitely need Strong Guy and perhaps Wolfbane. Go on, take your best shot. It's your face, pal. What's this, a two for one sale? No, it's more like a baker's dozen. And here is Sabretooth next to the brown suited Juggernaut Wave Wolverine. Now, as you can see, Wolverine is much shorter than Sabretooth. And here he is with the uh, Toy Biz Sabretooth. As you can see, the old Toy Biz is taller than the new Sabretooth, but let's be serious here. This new updated version is much, much better and much, much needed. Very excited about this new Sabretooth. Look at that. Look at that face. Look at that head scope right there. Although, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad if he's a little bit bigger, but you know what? It's alright. And here is the new Gladiator. Right next to the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Gladiator. As you can see, this one is much shinier than this one. I, um, I actually like the San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, much better. So, here it is. Here is the difference between uh, these two. Not much different other than the paint job. And here it is, stand next to Hyperion, right there. Now these three share the same body scope, so. Princess, I serve the Imperial Throne of the Shi'ar, and Daken sits on the throne. Why are we listening to Mr. Bad Hair Day? Why don't you just flip back where you- Uh-huh. And here is the new Magneto. I must say though, the uh, head sculpt is superb. This is by far the best Magneto with helmet head sculpt that um, that I believe ever been made, to be honest with you. I really like the body sculpt as well. You can get a lot of articulation uh, with, this, um, with this new Magneto. Um, however, it's probably not going to be a fan favorite just because of uh, people are not used to this uh, type of uh, his uh, costume this way. But as far as articulation, as far as body scope, as far as the head scope, this is a very, very dope uh, looking Magneto. Just that um, most people would prefer this color scheme, the original classic Magneto, than uh, this version uh, actually. But here he is, this is the Jubilee Wave Magneto with the new head scope on and it does fit. This is the old Toy Biz Magneto right here. As you can see though, um, this is still probably my favorite color, the classic Magneto though. But here it is, this is uh, how Magneto looked. And here it is, Storm right next to her Toy Biz counterpart, the darker costume of the X-Men 90 costume Storm. And here is the classic 
white custom of Storm. This is what everyone used to, and this is actually what I want Hasbro to update us on, to be honest with you. But yeah, now I don't have the Jubilee Wave Storm uh, to uh, show you guys in comparison, but um, yeah, this is the only three version Storm I uh, have currently. And here is the Tiger Stripe 90 style version, Jim Lee version, Wolverine. But uh, here's some uh, comparison of the uh, some of the uh, Tiger Stripe Wolverine that I do have. Um, here's the Mezco Tiger Stripe Wolverine. As you can see, he is a bit taller than the uh, the new uh, Marvel Legend Wolverine. Um, and Wolverine is always a short person, so yeah, this Mezco is a bit tall. And then here is the uh, Hasbro Red Hulk Wave Wolverine. Now this actually used to be my favorite uh, Tiger Stripe Wolverine, um, but now honestly, I think this guy take the kick right here. So yeah, this is uh, the Wolverine. And now finally, the Apocalypse Builder figure. Let me get a close up look to him right here. Man, I'm telling you, do not pass up on this Apocalypse, guys. This is an awesome builder figure. Look at the detail. By the way, this uh, thing right here, I don't know what you call it, but it does come off um, as well as, as far as his uh, shoulder pad, they all come off as well. So, but yeah, look at that metallic blue. This is, this is some serious detail. Hasbro has done a good job with this one. And here is a comparison with him and the old Toy Biz uh, Apocalypse right here. Yeah, the size wise, uh, it doesn't compare, but um, yeah, the detail is very, 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 very dope. I still have the old Toy Biz one still in package. Um, definitely not going to open in him because there's no point because I have this guy now. So, And plus, honestly, I always like uh, this Apocalypse um, as well. So, yeah. There it is guys, the whole team. Thank you for watching. Uh, like always, this is SoCal Collector. I'm out.